If you're planning to move to Washington State, or maybe you already live here, but there is a community that you need to check out. It is located south of Seattle, and it is called the Lakeland Hills Community in Auburn, Washington. It is a beautiful community. I want to show you all about Lakeland Hills Community and what it's like to live here. I'm going to take you on a small tour and show you the best parts. If we've not yet met, my name is Karen Jackson. I'm a realtor with John L. Scott in the greater Seattle area. I specialize mostly in the city south of Seattle. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming episodes, be sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell and you will be notified of the next one. Lakeland Hills is located on the southeastern part of Auburn, Washington. It is between the city of Pacific and Lake Taps. It's right on the border of King and Pierce County. Parts of Lakeland Hills are in King County and some are in Pierce County. Lakeland Hills is a somewhat newer community. The older houses here were built in the late 1980s, but a good majority of the area was built starting in 2000 and later. The community of Lakeland Hills is divided into many different subdivisions or housing development communities. You will find homes here that are 1,500 square foot on up to around 5,000 square foot. And they're still building some new communities as we speak. There are also many condos and townhome style condo communities. There's also quite a few detached condos here. Some of the communities are gated. There is a homeowners association for the majority of the Lakeland Hills neighborhood, the Lakeland Homeowners Association, and then many of the other, I'll call them sub communities, have their own HOA as well. So some of the neighborhoods, especially the condos, have two sets of homeowners association dues. Most of the homes are contemporary in style with modest lots. Some are zero lot line lots, and then some have maybe up to a quarter acre. You can get a list of all of these homes for sale in Lakeland Hills in the description below, or call or text me, I would love to help. There is also an over 55 senior living community at the Palisades. This is a gated adult community for rent for those wanting to downsize. So I love Lakeland Hills, and what I personally like about Lakeland Hills is it always feels clean. It feels safe to me, and it's a smaller community. The area is very walkable. I could walk to the store or walk to dinner. If it's not raining, or probably even if it is raining, you will see people walking around, playing in the parks, walking the dogs. There is also a giant hill on Lake Taps Parkway that many people walk for exercise. I have done it and it is a great calf workout. There are sidewalks everywhere, which makes it a great place for walking or jogging. Have you been to Lakeland Hills before? If so, put a yes in the comments below. I'd love to see how many people have already been here. Lakeland is often considered a family-friendly community. It offers a range of amenities. There are multiple parks, playgrounds, and sports fields. It's a great place for families with children. The Lakeland Hills community has strong schools. The Auburn School District serves Lakeland Hills. They offer a variety of educational options. The district has several highly rated schools providing quality education and extracurricular activities. Most of the schools in the area are a seven out of 10 on greatschools.org. Lakeland Hills has its own town center with shops, restaurants, grocery, and now a gas station within walking distance. Not that you would need to walk to a gas station, or hopefully you would not have to. There are about 16 restaurants, bars, and coffee shops in Lakeland Hills, and it just continues to grow. There are lots of fun things to do just outside of the Lakeland Hills community. Lake Taps is just a short drive away. If you like to swim and boat, this is definitely the place to go. So what is your favorite part so far about Lakeland? So let's take a look at Google Earth for a quick tour for some really fun attractions that are near Lakeland Hills. Here we have an aerial view of Lakeland Hills. Over in this area are the older 1980s style homes, the original community. And then as you get over this way, things started to build in 2000 and newer. All of these are different subdivisions by different builders, different style homes, and different size homes. 
some are condos, some are single family homes. There are sidewalks literally on every one of these streets for the most part. So you can walk around with your dogs, your kids, your strollers very easily. So let's zoom in closer to the town center. Here's one of the elementary schools right here. This here is that dreaded hill that people walk up and down for exercise. So here's the town center. As you can see, there's a Chevron, a Walgreens, a MultiCare. Hoggins is the grocery store. There's a Starbucks, Hots and Drops. There's a McDonald's right here. It's just not labeled. A Mod Pizza, a Stack 571. This area just keeps improving and improving. More and more businesses keep going in. This over here is one of the biggest parks in the area, Sunset Park. So we'll zoom back in again. We talked about Lake Taps. Lake Taps is a very popular lake in the summer for fishing, swimming, boating, lots of fun going on on that lake. It was a great golf course on Taps Island, Taps Island Golf Course. It's a nine hole golf course. And as you can imagine, there's lots of water features. It's also got a great view of Mount Rainier. So Lakeland Hills is centered between Pacific and Lake Taps. If you go beyond Lake Taps a little bit, here, in this area is Bonnie Lake. This is where many people would go for the big box stores. There's a Target and a Costco, a Home Depot, a Lowe's, a Kohl's, lots of different, a Petco, many different big box stores. If you go east over this direction, you'll run into Buckley and Enumclaw. Over here is Sumner. Sumner is a small town older community, very cute houses. Uh, you go here for food, for restaurants, great restaurants, and some cute little mom and pop type of shops. Over here is Puyallup. They have just about everything in Puyallup you can imagine. It's quite a large community now. And then up here is Auburn city limits. So Lakeland Hills is part of Auburn, although it seems closer to Lake Taps area, but it is part of Auburn. If you like to golf, there are some great golf courses in Auburn. There's the Washington National Golf Club. There's Druid's Glen, which is kind of out towards Maple Valley. It might, it might have a Maple Valley address. I'm not sure. Right in here is the Auburn Golf Course, which is beautiful. The Muckleshoot Casino is right in Auburn. If you like shopping, the Outlet Collection Mall is right here in Auburn as well. Right here is the Emerald Downs racetrack. That's for horse racing. And then up here is Pacific Raceways for car racing. They have drag racing there. If you like concerts and like outdoor concerts, the White River Amphitheater in Auburn has a great outdoor venue. For This is Allen York Park. This is one of the public parks, the bigger public parks on Lake Taps. And if you like to hike, there's lots of hiking in the area. Some of the closer spots are probably as you go out here to Buckley. We can zoom in. You would head out 410 here to Buckley. There's some hiking over in here. Mount Peak in Enumclaw. It's not listed, but it's right in here as well. And then as you continue out 410, you'll head up towards Greenwater, Mud Mountain, Dam, um, up in Greenwater, and then as you go out towards Crystal Mountain, there's more. So let's center back to Lakeland Hills right in here. Lakeland has a pretty good commute location, whether you're going to Seattle or Tacoma. Tacoma is right over here, and Seattle is up here. So Seattle is a little bit further away than Tacoma, but it's right off of Lakeland Hills is right off of Highway 167, which goes north and south. It ends in Renton and Puyallup. Interstate 5 right here, north and south from Seattle to Tacoma. There's also 410, which goes, you'd have to get on 167 to 410, which goes east towards Enumclaw and Buckley. And then it heads up to Crystal Mountain. 
And then if you keep going, you'll head to Eastern Washington. Highway 18 is right here. And Highway 18 goes east and west from Federal Way, which is right in this area, and goes east to Issaquah, which then turns into I-90. And then you can head east over the mountains here to Snoqualmie. This is another ski resort here. So now you see why people love to live in Lakeland Hills. If you would like information on any other cities near Seattle, reach out to me. People reach out to me all the time and I would love to help you or put a message in the comments below.